A fire at the Nebraska National Forest has spread to more than 15,000 acres in 24 hours and has now claimed one life. The Bovee fire started three miles south of Halsey on Sunday afternoon. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson has been keeping track of the fire and has the very latest information. Mackenzie. The drought conditions and wind caused the fire to grow rapidly, moving 15 miles north overnight, faster than firefighters could keep up. Public Information Officer Travis Mason Bushman spoke with me today about the progress they've made. As of Monday night, the fire is still 0% contained, but spokesman Travis Mason Bushman says we might see those numbers increase soon. They got some good work done on the, on the east side and the north side of the fire last night. Um, you know, if those hold up through today, we'll probably call them contained tomorrow. The majority of a Nebraska 4-H camp was destroyed, but Mason Bushman says aggressive structure defense helped save many other structures. Unfortunately, the fire has taken more than property. Region 26 Emergency Management said Mike Moody, the assistant chief of the Purdom Volunteer Fire Department, died in the line of duty on Sunday. Officials have said it was from a heart attack. Property is one thing, but human life is obviously the most important thing. And, and so it's just a reminder of the, of the risks um, that, that firefighters take. It, it is a, a challenging and, and, and you know, it can be a dangerous uh, profession. Over 100 firefighters are working together including personnel from Colorado and South Dakota. Mason Bushman says seeing the teamwork is motivation to keep going. It doesn't matter whether that fire is, uh, you know, whether it's a state fire or a federal fire or a local fire, we all come together, um, uh, all different colors of uniforms come together to get that fire put out. As for the aftermath, Mason Bushman says after the fire is extinguished, the Nebraska National Forest area will be closed to visitors for at least several weeks. They will have to be totally sure that there is no possibility of trees falling, and they will have to switch gears to focus on rebuilding the environment and wildlife. That's the, the next challenge. You know, putting out the fire is, is, is half the job, and sometimes maybe it's not even, not even half the job because there will be a long road to recovery. Mason Bushman says the weather conditions Monday helped slow the rate of growth significantly. We should be getting a more precise estimation on the amount of damage soon, and we'll keep you updated as we learn more. All right, thank you, Mackenzie, for the update. 